Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to give you guys some updates because it's been a while since I've done one of these videos and the reason for that is I've been completely refurbishing my workshop so if things look a little bit different that is the reason why. Hopefully it means in the future I'm going to be able to do things a lot easier and a lot tidier than I've been able to do before. Also if there is any noise in the background please accept my apologies it's my 3D printer rattling away in the corner knocking out a bracket for my digital FPV system. Now today I want to talk about three things specifically. Specifically. The first is the digital FPV system from DJI and a quirk that has become known with regards to low power mode and I'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. The second thing I'm going to talk about is the new accessories DJI have released for the Ronin S and the SC specifically including the dual grips because these are some things people have been waiting for. Finally at the end of the video I'm going to just touch on the new carrier board that is now available for the Cube Autopilot that includes avionics ADS-B in receiver as standard because it's a little bit of a steal. So anyways to get on with this video the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the DJI digital FPV system and specifically low power mode and there is something you need to be aware of on this and that is that if you are using the digital FPV system without a UART connection or without a flight controller you need to make sure low power mode is turned off and the reason for this is that it will not enter the 700 milliwatt output mode. The way low power mode works is it detects motor arming from your flight controllers UART and it then switches from the 25 milliwatt setting over to the 700 milliwatt setting. However if you don't have that flight controller connected and low power mode is turned on it will never enter 700 milliwatts. So this is something you need to be aware of. Now I'm going to do a dedicated video on this because I'm going to do it walking through what you need to do and the reasons why it happens. However, basics are low power mode should only be used if you are using it with a compatible flight controller in beta flight with telemetry. If you're not, you need to turn low power mode off. Um, other than that, there hasn't been any updates on the digital FPV system yet. We're still waiting for them to come from DJI. The only other thing I really seen and I wanted to talk about is a ready to fly quad including the digital FPV system from the guys over at iFlight and they're put together quite a nice package for people if they didn't want to build their own race quad and you can simply go to their website and for $349 you can buy an off the shelf race quad ready to fly and you can simply choose the options you want and the nice thing about it is it is ready to fly out of the box you can choose to add the DJI FPV goggles as well you can also choose to include the remote controller however if you didn't want the remote they also give you the option of ordering it with a standard receiver as well for FR Sky as well as TBS Crossfire so it is a really nice option it's a really tidy build as well and it means that if you want to get into FPV you don't have to mess around building it yourself you can purchase the iFlight quad ready to go out the box directly from them and again at $349 it isn't really that expensive if I'm honest even when you build a good race quad like I've done with this one it soon adds up so again if you want to get off the shelf and ready to go there is an RTF or bind and fly option available for you. The next thing I want to talk about is the Ronin S series and specifically some new accessories mostly for the Ronin SC and they are as follows. The first one and it's the big one people have been waiting for is the new dual handle grips. Now the original dual handle grips off the Ronin S will not fit the SC because of the top area is completely different. However DJI have put out a standard compatible set of dual handle grips specifically for the Ronin SC. Now they are a little bit different in the sense of the way these ones connect is from the bottom of the gimbal up rather than go on the top yoke area and come down but it does mean you have the option of having adjustable grips on the Ronin SC it, it's the standard NATO rail compatibility and it has all the usual fittings fitments quarter 20 screw holes and everything else just like the original one had allowing you all sorts of options around connectivity. Now these are available off the DJI store and they are available for $99 and you can order these now. Now alongside 
this new dual handle grip they have also released a dedicated monitor mount and this is designed to be used with the Ronin SC dual handle grip but also the Ronin S handle grip as well and the idea of it is it allows you to mount an external monitor directly onto the hand grip rather than mounting it anywhere else on the gimbal. Now I did do a review video probably three or four months ago on the Polar Pro monitor mount for the Ronin S and that will fit the SC as well however the downside side to that is it does take up the space of one of the ports on the side and if you did want to use the command unit and focus it means you can't have one on either side and you do have to jiggle things around a little bit however this monitor mount from DJI means that you can put it up front right in front of you rather than have it on the side of the gimbal hanging over again you cannot use this on its own it has to be used in combination with the dual handle grip for either the Ronin S or the SC it costs $39 and again it is available to order directly from the DJI website and you can get that if you wanted to use an external monitor with your camera. The next hardware accessory DJI have released is the Ronin S and SC L bracket plate with counterweights. Now this is quite an interesting product because it's not just one thing, it serves multiple purposes. The first purpose is it allows you to mount your camera in the portrait mode on your gimbal and it's designed to work on both the S and the SC but it means that you can actually flip your camera up to the side rather than have it in the normal horizontal position. It also includes a number of counterweights and these are here to be able to help you balance larger cameras or larger lenses on cameras on your gimbal system if you're struggling to do it without any additional help. Now this is a system that includes a number of weights, it's got a little bracket that goes onto the arm, it's got another bracket that fits onto the side of this bracket system as well. Now you can't use the counterweights on their own, they have to be used with this counter bracket system for the the most part unless you were using a very light camera but it is all included in the pack and it means you are able to use some larger lenses on the Ronin S or SC than you would normally be able to use and there's some options of mounting it on the arm it's like this little bracket that clips on the arm on the back and it has some adjustment places for it to go as well now this is available it isn't the cheapest accessory DJI have ever made it costs £120 in the UK however if you are someone who does like to use longer lenses and bigger cameras this is probably worth a look this kit and it does include a number of accessories you get the L bracket plate the support a 200 gram counterweight you get three of them 300 gram counterweight so it's got a lot of options available in the pack as well now that is all of the hardware accessories DJI have released this week. There is one more thing that they have put out though, and that is a new camera cable to be used with Fujifilm cameras. And this is specifically for the Ronin SC, and it brings support for the X-T2 and 3 series for video control. Now, up until now, the support was only for shutter control in stills, but this new cable costing $22 means you can use your X-T2 and your X-T3 for the Ronin SC. Now it isn't for the Ronin S yet, there will be a new cable coming for that hopefully in the near future. Now it plugs into the same port on the Ronin SC as the normal cable and it goes into the side of the camera and it gives you the option of using start and stop film autofocus as well as capturing stills. Now it doesn't appear to give you manual focus control, it is simply the AF option that it includes at this time. As for camera compatibility, you can see it allows you to use it with the HX1, the X-T2 and the X-T3. XT20, XT30 and XE3 and it is the Ronin SC RSS control cable for Fuji film and again when using cable number two it allows you to start stop record video capture photo and trigger autofocus so Fuji support is finally here for the SC hopefully it won't be too long before it is available for the Ronin S now 
All of these cables and these accessories are available to order today from the DJI store. I'll put a link to them in the description of this video as well if you want to order them. I do appreciate everyone who used those links because it does help me keep the channel running and it allows me to keep making videos by buying products. But there are links to them in the description of this video as well and I'll also put a link to the camera compatibility in there for you too. Now I mentioned these accessories are for the Ronin S, C and S. The basics are that the counterweight system and the adjustable monitor bracket fits both the SC and the S, whereas the dual handles and the RSS cable currently only fits the SC and hopefully Fuji support for the S will be around the corner. Finally, the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is the Cube Autopilot and specifically the new carrier board. Now, I have just put a video out on this talking about all of the cubes. As you can see, I've got the orange one in my hand here. However, this week, the all new avionics based carrier board has been made available and the basics of this are as follows it is the standard carrier board that Profi CNC Hex have always made but because the Intel Edison is no longer available they've been in discussion with avionics and they've been able to package it with a built-in avionics ADS-B in receiver and that is going to be available as a kit alongside the Cube Orange that is available to purchase. Now you can get it today, but it is still in beta at this point. But the thing about this package is this is going to basically become the standard model. The Cube Orange with the avionics compatible carrier board with the ADS-B in built in and ready to go and you can purchase this for 250 pounds in the uk and if i'm honest it's an absolute steal because if you were to try and buy the adsb in receiver on its own you'd be paying close to that money let alone what you're paying for the full autopilot with the carrier board and everything built in and it's really good to see the whole industry moving towards doing this i'm not the biggest advocate of adsb in myself i have my um reservations that is going to solve every problem however you can never give a pilot too much data around what other aircraft are around them and because it is ADS-B in it means any manned aircraft equipped with ADS-B out you will be able to see that via mission planner or whatever ground station you're using with your cube autopilot now this is available to order today 3dxr in the uk have it in stock there is just something i will mention though as i mentioned earlier it is still in beta and it won't be officially supported until ardricopter 4.0 is released now we are in 3.6 at the moment but as i understand it and the information i've been given the basics are the current master 3.7 will become 4.0 so whilst it does sound like numbers wise we're quite far back we're not 4.0 will be the next major release of Ardricopter so you will if you buy the, this today need to use the current master release from the daily builds not the current stable but it is available and do check it out if you're going to order a cube because i will be honest looking at the standard carrier board version with a cube black is probably the worst route to go now you'll be far better going with the cube orange with the adsb in based carrier board because it's just much better value overall and that is it for this video. I hope the information in it has been helpful. As I mentioned, I'm going to do a dedicated video on the DJI Digital FPV system around low power mode. So if you are interested in knowing more about that, I'm gonna try and get that up in the next 24 hours. So please do check it out. The accessories for the Ronin S are available to order from DJI now. There are links to them in the description of this video as well if you want to order for the S or the SC. The dual handles looks really nice. I'm going to order a set of them myself to check out how good they are and hopefully I'll talk about them on the channel in the near future. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe. There's a button somewhere in the bottom right hand corner. I think it's down by here and I will do another video again soon. Please do subscribe to the channel and check out all of the other videos we have available. They are also split into playlists to help you easily find the ones that are relevant to you. If you would like to support the channel, please check out the links that are in the description for each video. You will find the links for the products we've been talking about and it's only by you guys purchasing via these links that allows us to keep making videos and buy products to talk about in the future. Please also check us out and follow us on all of the social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. We're beginning to build these accounts up and whilst it is early days, I would appreciate it if you would like, share and follow us on these platforms. 
Finally, please also check out my website, www.mardrc.com. Now, this is somewhere that we've been putting some of our blog posts and things like that over the last couple of years. So if you're interested in having a look, please do go check it out. That is it. Please do click that subscribe button. Thank you very much. And I will do another video again soon.